a quick video today because I have like half an hour to wait in the car. I mean, I don't have to wait in the car, but I decided to do that because I'm gonna sketch on iPad and uh, it's been a while that we didn't do real time sketching. So I thought it's like a good excuse to use this time and recording in the car is interesting, let's say. So let's start directly. I'm gonna record the screen of the iPad so you can watch it in the real time. What I wanna do is something like an urban car because nowadays I sketch a lot of supercars, sports cars and so on. So let's do something like a urban car if I can fit here. I will start with the side view because later I'm gonna use Viscom for creating like a 3D, generating quick 3D of it so we can also maybe see from the different angles and let's see what kind of design proposal we can do in the car. Also it's like I have almost no experience with the iPad, I'm not using much of it so let's see how it will go. Alright so I just put my wheels more or less in between there are one, two, three. Okay, it's a bit bigger than three. So probably I'm gonna exaggerate my wheels later. But I use this rule still like three wheels in between generally gives like a good proportions. I will put quickly five spock rims inside. And for the beginners, if you realize like I don't put totally straight five lines, I give a little bit depth here. If I, you see like it goes straight and then goes to the perspective because the perspective is somewhere in the middle and we see the car from the side so the spokes of the rims are also going to the depth of the car so let's do maybe something like a Mini Cooper maybe let's try so what I like about Mini Cooper is like it has this graphical elements like it divides the car in three one is the roof the glass area and the body color I really like this iconic design, so I'm gonna go with a Mini Cooper. Again, on the sketch, as you see, I give a little bit of depth here also to see the car, like the other wheels from the other side of the car. Generally, when you put only one single line to the floor, it doesn't give the depth and the stance of the car. So now this will support the stance of the car. And it's hard to sketch in the car. So let's put here the front light, like a grill area here. Here is the ground clearance we had. And I will start from the A pillar. Like the A pillar continues to more or less the center of the front wheel type of approach, the proportional approach. Here is the shoulder line. And maybe something like that height is enough. Here we go. I exaggerate a little bit proportions to show the, the compact feeling of the car. Let's say we have like a rear light here. Maybe let's try to do something a little bit different also rather than like the most classical mini. Maybe, okay, first let's put the elements that we know we need, like the A pillar, B pillar. Here will be the door area. And what I mean by adding something different is, let's try some surface elements. First, let's put the highlight catcher here. So this area will be highlights. Here we will have the surface bending something like that and we're gonna have some interior it's a very quick sketch because I'm hoping to use the magic of Viscom by the way this video is sponsored by Viscom thank you for that if you don't know, it is an AI tool that helps you to boost your creativity and efficiency for the design process. I use it a lot. I made a lot of videos about it. Also, I have my own online course, AI for Car Design, and Viscom is a big part of it. But if you are not aware or if you always delayed, if you procrastinate to try it, you can go to viscom.ai to start trying it for free. And you will see soon cool results also here. So I would highly recommend it. Let's say this is more or less our sketch we can also edit it further on the viscom but if i want this 
internal graphic for example of the rear lights to somehow give me shadow area here just to experiment and I'm not so happy with the rear wheel I think it should move a little bit forward here okay it's quite dirty sketch and it's definitely not the best for actually Viscom it's better to do clean sketches to get clean results but let's see where it will go by the way it's been a while that I didn't do this real-time videos but I know that it's helpful for many of you but it might be also boring for some of you so please let me know on the comments what do you think about this real-time stuff because sometimes I just don't even talk and I just do this sketch maybe you prefer me to not talk and just sketch I don't know so please let me know okay I'm just gonna flip this to the other side to see if I have like a major mistake that I don't see at the moment I don't even know how I don't use much iPad as I said okay it's not so bad but we can no we won't warp it here a little bit maybe something like that okay I'm not so happy with the front something is off here maybe we need a bit more volume on the front I'm not totally sure but let's say more or less it's okay I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this layer create a new layer on top to clean a little bit my sketch so here is the front wheel also when it's real time like when I do time-lapse videos it's easier I feel less pressure because you know it's more fun <laughs> easier to watch but these I feel like I need to rush you don't need to by the way in real life on the design process you don't need to rush that much where is the duplicate I want to duplicate this layer okay I really don't know how to duplicate this layer doesn't matter it's easier to just also draw the second wheel here we go and the ground clearance and if you are wondering why I'm in the car and I have to be it's nothing important but I gave a blood exam just like a regular checkup thing it's been a while so I'm getting old so I wanted to take a look at my uh, blood levels and stuff all right so I'm just cleaning the sketch quickly and as you see when I change the proportions in a better way because I wanted to exaggerate the wheels more and I lost the volume for the rear lights I think the new one is better so I can also add it's a little bit pushing too much surfaces here but let's see where it will go on the previous layer I'm gonna erase some parts like the wheel area especially okay I think I will try to put this already in Viscom to see where it will go because at the end of fun sketch challenge type of thing to do in the car it's not like a full design process so I just exported the image I go to Viscom landscape insert an image here we go I'm gonna transfer it transform it something like a bit longer and bigger on the canvas here we go so this is Viscom basically we can now write a prompt such as by the way I'm checking the time and it's been around 10 minutes not bad we are doing not bad urban concept car from side view and if you are not new to the Viscom there are some new palettes and stuff going on now and we can also dive into them later but for now I'm gonna use automotive exterior drawing influence 100% and 4 images and generate I'm 
kind of confident that at least one of them will give us a good result. Let's see where it will go. Okay, this time I will do a quick time lapse because I'm using my mobile internet. Maybe it also affects the speed a little bit, but you don't have to wait and watch that part. Okay, I kind of like this color version. So I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna go to refine and hit generate again. So I will refine it a bit further or maybe I will actually decrease a little bit the influence for the refinement. Let's see how it will go. Yeah, these are not bad already. I'm gonna add it, but I will turn off this layer on the refine. I will change it to, let's say 85% and generate again. All right, not bad results. I think I like this one the most. I'm gonna add that. And now what I want is already creating a 3D out of it. So I'm gonna hit this button here, generate 3D. So it will give us like a nice proportions of this car hopefully like it will use the side view side view works the best if you are new to give us like a base 3d of the sketch so here we have the 3d model generated and look at this i mean the proportions are exactly like how i imagine it's the mini cooper proportions and even the texture of our sketch is projected to 3d so that's very cool i think we didn't talk about it on the channel yet about the viscom new 3d generation it's not like a perfect 3D that you can jump into Blender and render and done, but it's, I think, amazing for using it as a base for like refining further. And let me show you, I'm gonna just duplicate this layer and I'm gonna move, move the second 3D here. I will just put from the front view maybe. Maybe this one a little bit down. This one looks fine. And I can duplicate it again. Let's go duplicate. So basically it's like duplicating a layer, but it's a 3D format. So isn't that cool? I'm gonna remove the sketch layers from the background and we have the same car from different angles basically. I think it's a pretty cool thing. So I'm gonna create a new layer on top of everything and I will add some details. I will not go super into details, but for example here, maybe not super round, but some headlights like that maybe some graphical elements I'm using a little bit more geometric than like super soft uh, design language here and on the back I want like this line here we go and maybe here as well I mean, I'm not even experienced with iPad, as I said before, but enabling this is pretty cool, like giving this chance, because now we're gonna refine this further to get the same car from different angles. And this is, to me, very exciting. Oh, I did something wrong just after I said I'm not experienced with iPad. So I'm gonna give like a graphics of five spokes on the, rims like a very basic let's see what it will create when i do it fast somehow it interferes with a shortcut i think so i'm doing it like slow strokes here Some headlights. I didn't go with the round headlights because I'm a big Porsche fan and I'm drawing a lot of round headlights nowadays. So I decided to go a little bit more. Actually, this looks like 718 Cayman type of. Anyway, by the way, we are in a Peugeot right now. And in the channel I mentioned before, I might make a video why I picked this car. Especially it was the interior design. So if there's anybody interested in we can make a video. I can make a video about maybe why I like this car and so on, but it's been more than two years. So I'm not as excited as at the beginning, but still I like this car. So let's say this is enough. Let's go to refine now and drawing influence 85%. Now we don't need on the prompt, the side view, urban concept car. 
and let's generate on the refine. Okay, the first level of refinement, not so bad. Let's see some other, oh, this is better, I think. Oh, the last one is also cool. Okay, in each of them I like another one. For example, on this one I like the side and the front perspective. So I'm going to add this one. But on the last one I like the rear one. So I'm going to add this as well. And on the last one I'm going to erase the side. For example, I will get the eraser, the big size. So basically I cleaned the top layer side view. On the front also I will use the previous layer. So here we go. Now if I want I can even go further. I can do some details. Let's even do it. I will get the brush, red. I need a smaller brush. I don't know if anybody is waiting for me to change the parking spot, but seems like no. So I'm gonna add like a red light bar here. And maybe a second one here. I'm gonna pick the color from background and remove this white one. Here we go. For the front I like that it added like a glass is turning into this black hood area. It's pretty cool. And rather than going all the details here, honestly I would export it and go to Photoshop for uh, doing some manual changes. And let's refine one more time to see what will happen. This time I want to do 95% following my drawing influence. Here are the results. I think I like that the most. No. Actually I like the second one the most. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna make the full screen to see that. Well, it is pretty cool. I, I mean, look, we did this in the car. Just I did a quick side view sketch to set the proportions right and then created the 3D to see the same car from different angles, same proportions, same details. I mean, of course, it's not exactly the same car. For example, I can see on the front we have more or less four doors. On the side we had a single door, like two doors. So there are little differences on the details, of course, but overall the same proportions, same colors, same graphics elements, and I can just put it on the Photoshop to finalize. And we just did it in the car, just with an iPad and internet, thanks to Viscom. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think on the comments. And if you want to see more AI topic videos, you can watch this one here. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more car design content. See you in the next one.